<laughs> I'm Mike Belly Loops. Big. <laughs> <laughs>
a couple of years ago, um, before Retro Liberty stopped. Yeah. I was staying with my aunt and my grandma in, in Colombia. I don't know if I ever told you that I'm half Puerto Rican, half Colombia. Yep. And a couple of years ago, I, I, I was waiting for a job here in California. It's all destiny, it's the destiny, not a video game, the real destiny. Making the story short, I was having a bad, a rough time and I remember sitting down with my aunt uh, and watching these guys and and it's, it's kind of funny and kind of crazy because my aunt, even my grandma, doesn't know anything English. So you think my English is bad? Oh, so anyways, it was, uh, it was funny and pretty the same way because that was... Uh, oh, dude. How can I... I mean, I can kind of, because I know it's Help probably, here. probably easier here. for me to say, but yeah, it was like actually a big deal for Gabo because his grandma and his aunt would like watch our show in the hospital when they were... No, it was, it was in the house. Huh? Yeah, in the house. But they would watch the show with him and it was kind of like a big part of their, sadly, like the last kind of like part of their life. And um, they would watch the show together and it was pretty, uh, I'd say important for him. Like it was like a, a big part of their life, like at the end of their life, like watching our show and kind of like laughing together. And I think it's cool you said like the language barrier. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember she always uh, get pissed off with you when you slap Ricky. She would be proud though now you're getting slapped. I bet you she would be loving it. Yes. You know she's... she She was in love with Ricky. She oh. was like, oh, poor Ricky, poor <laughs> Ricky. And sadly, two years ago, they passed away. And is Come on, help me here. It's bittersweet because yeah. Gabo now, like they always thought it'd be so cool if he could meet us or do something with the show, but they're watching, they're watching. They know now that Gabo is in the show and I remember it was a big deal for him because yeah. it was the episode where we went to Fry's Electronics. It was the first time Gabo was on the show when the show came back and I remember you were like looking at the sky and you're like, I made it, like I did oh, yeah, it. Yeah. Which is cool, I mean, that's a, it was a cool it, experience for us. Of, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult to put in words. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, I'm very grateful with these two. And it's like, it's like closing the circle. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of sad that my aunt is not here to, to watch me doing stupid things <laughs> with these two. But I know they're watching us. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, That's what don't I slap Ricky again. They got the best seat in the house watching us. Yeah. So. One day I was in the area and I write, um, I write to the channel and say let's go launch and you know one launch became two, three, four. Yeah. He touched then, my leg. Uh, yeah, he touched my leg too. <laughs> then I talked with this guy on the phone and yeah, the next thing we know we was on E3 hanging yeah. out in E3. Oh, that was our first was... like big hangout. Yeah, together. that was awesome. That's where Ricky Sucks came from. Yeah, it really Ricky sucks. Mega Man 11. Mega Man 11. I literally, I don't know what happened. I like he still sucks. <laughs> he couldn't, he couldn't beat the level, and I, I beat it first try, just saying with one life. But that's that's okay. It happens. So, but yeah, and then he says Ricky sucks, and Ricky sucks, and for from being a fan to have a dream like knowing these guys and you know and and go hunt and I don't know and being YouTube. Now I'm hugging and kissing those two, these two guys, and I got I in the show is. Well, it's, it's the same way for us too, even like being creators, because as any other creator will tell you, when you're in this outside world of YouTube looking in, and you see these people that you kind of idolize in a way, yeah. you're like, man, I wish I could talk to them or be friends with yeah. them. It's almost like it's not gonna happen. Like it's not it's not possible. And like my big guys were like. NES Complex at the time, and, and Gerard at the time, and the Game Chasers, and Metal Jesus, and Game Straight E1. And within like a month of doing YouTube, 
were on a basis of like texting each other and hanging out. I talked to Metal Jesus today. I talked to Gerard today. I talked to Jay yesterday. It's just like, oh, I talked to NES Complex every day. The community. You know, friends, the community. For me, for me to be honest, that's the, that's the highlight. It is. It is. It's I don't care if I found something very expensive or something that I'm looking for. To be honest, for me, the most special thing is talk with the people. That's like one of my favorite things about that's yeah. come from the show is like, we've always made it very clear that the fines are one of the last it's things. It's a plus. We, it's one of the last it's things we actually care about in the show. But Ricky, what's like your favorite thing that's like come out of the show or that's like happened during the show or anything with the show that's kind of like your... Uh, it's just the people. Like, yeah. Half of my friends came from the show now. <laughs> that's really like, weird. Like it's weird. It's awesome. But it's... It's cool. I love it. Yeah. Hey, dude, it's, I never knew any, anybody. It's like one of the other highlights for me. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's you, okay. Is meeting the great Jesus. Metal Jesus. I don't we're know. Still, if, we're still trying to get him to meet the real Jesus, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Come I don't know me. if I ever told you that I love Metal Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, um, he's so good. Yeah. I, I love it. I think it's crazy. The show, the reason the NES Pursuit to me is like so special is because it's done so much for me like in, in my life. Like I've gone through so many different changes since the NES Pursuit started through good times, through really bad times, through even coming back. And I think it says a lot about like the kind of community we built on Retro Liberty because a lot, I've seen so many channels do something that we did where they had a channel and they built some sort of a community and then they went away or they, you know, and then when they come back, the community isn't there. You know, they're just like, eh, that ship has sailed. Yeah. But it just shows like the kind of community we built and the kind of people that are involved in this retro gaming community that not only did like the same amount of people come back, but tenfold. The subscribers are less, but the views are exactly the same and even more. And even the engagement's more than it was yeah. on Retro Liberty, which is weird. Weird. You know, sometimes they tell you like, never get to know your heroes, right? Because you, you're gonna be disappointed. Yeah. What I found in this community yeah. is, I can say the 90% of uh, the YouTubers, gaming YouTubers, what you see on camera, they are like that. Yeah, yeah they're awesome. Especially these two. It's, you know what, and, and that's something, I, I saw Metal Jesus had to address that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Metal Jesus addressed that in his video. He's like, yeah, you know, if you meet Rip, you might think he's crazy and loud and putting it on for the camera. And he's like, no, that's like, he just said like, yeah, that's like, what this guy is like. And like Gabo said, luckily enough, when you meet these people, honestly, I mean, it's some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Guys like Gamester and Jason and Johnny Millennium. And oh, like, yeah. These people at Gerard, these people are like the kindest people you'll meet, not even just in gaming community, but just in the world in general. Yeah. Uh, yeah, coming as like, obviously the shows that we kind of like, quote unquote, like copied, which pretty much it is a copy, but they say that's some of the best form of flattery. Is the California? Yeah. <laughs> copy. <laughs> the California copy? The Disney version. <laughs> the, Disney. the Disney version. You know, when, when we did this, the Retro Hunters were obviously someone as well, but we never really got to know them. I did know Rob a little bit and I talked to him a bit, but Billy and Jay, it's really cool to see how much, not only they just like, were okay with what our show became and was, but they like embraced it. They had us on their show. They tweeted out our videos. They shot a video for a hundred episodes. Like they become like really close friends of ours. And I have to say like, if it wasn't for, you know, that duo or like Billy's style of editing, I probably wouldn't have done the show. Before we go, do you have any questions that people wanted to ask? Just like a couple? Wasn't there a couple questions people wanted to ask? Yes. We'll do an official Q and A another time, but Gabo said that he asked and there was a bunch of questions. So let's get a couple. Awesome. Community first. <laughs> okay, first question, this comes from Phil John Doy. I'm Hello. sorry, I don't know if I ever told you that my English is not that good, so anyway. Uh, why did Retro Liberty leave? Why did you come back? Well, it left <laughs> for personal reasons and that's all I need to say about that. Personal, personal is personal. Uh, I know a lot of YouTubers, when you have personal things in your life, you definitely don't need to share them with the world when it comes to certain things in life. But uh, we came back, man, because it's our passion. Ricky never stopped going. Can you give me credit? Remember I was telling you to come back? I'm 
I, uh, this come from Bintomania. I only started watching this channel, so how come Ricky is where Ricky and Aaron is now called Reef? Hopefully, after this, I can be part of the squad with Gabo. Yes. Ricky, Ricky, why are you Ricky? Why, are you why, Ricky? why am I Riff now? How did I get the name Riff? That's my name. So <laughs> are you we call him Riff because literally he was on another YouTube channel where he was a sheriff, and for sheriff, it was Riff was short. So everyone started calling him Riff, and that's, it just kind of stuck. Kind of stuck, and I'll be honest, I was like, I like having a nickname. Let's keep me that nickname. So yeah, Riff has been the thing. The guys at work always called me Riff for a long time, so we brought it over. Riff! Good old <laughs> Riff! You guys should see the old videos. It's one of my favorite characters. I almost got a voice acting job for that, too. Oh my gosh, I just realized you used to use a fake mustache, but you can actually I pull know, off a real I one know. now. I have a real mustache now. Who knew? I think everybody wants the glasses back. Not me. Almost everybody. <laughs> Not me. Well, Ricky can begin wearing it. Yeah, Ricky, Ricky glasses. This comes from One Up Crusader. What is your favorite Pauly Shore movie? Pauly Shore? Pauly Biodome or whatever it's called? What think of? Who's that? It's the only Pauly Shore movie I know. I don't know. He's, he goes, yeah, yeah, I know who's that. This comes from Bao Brett, Brit, Alien. What is one game you guys are looking for? Dracula X on either the Super Nintendo or PC Engine or whatever. I just want it. I'll be honest, I'm never looking for a specific game usually. I'm very, uh, whatever deals come to me at the time, that's what I'll take. That's how I've always been. Me, Castlevania Bloodlines. Right, Ricky? Castlevania Bloodlines. He's been trying to get mine for a while. <laughs> it was a gift. <laughs> so this comes from Chris Rovers. Gabo, 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 gabo. Yeah, that's Chris. Gobble, 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 gobble. Yeah, I was just talking about Chris. Okay, this comes from Alan Smitty. Are you guys fluent in Spanish or more Spanglish speaking battles with your family? <laughs> I don't even know what was just said right now. I just heard like, bailu, like, ling, 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 ling. Well, I'm, I'm fluent in Spanish. Ricky? I'm fluent in both. Spanish and Spanglish. <laughs> I don't know any Spanish. I wish I did. I know, oh, someone asked that too. I might as well answer that now. Some people were like, uh, you're the most, how come you make so many Mexican jokes? Um, you're, aren't you Mexican? I thought I was Spanish my whole life, but we just got our DNA thing done. I'm, I'm pretty much just white. So deep, deep inside you, you want to be brown. I got Native Indian though. Native American? Native Indian. <laughs> Native Indian. <laughs> okay, this comes from Crazy Casey, 77. Riff. What will be your holy grail Sega Master System game? Ooh, Ninja Gaiden, uh, the Brazil uh, European issue. It's going from Retro Bros. Retro Bros. Retro Bros. They're Retro so cool. Bros. Billy or Jimmy? Oof. Billy. Bimmy. <laughs> Jaime. Jaime. <laughs> going from the Scottish game. Are you lads? Planning a trip to the UK anytime soon? Don't have the funds for that. No. If you ever find an expo that wants to send us out there and waste their money, we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> this comes from Matthew Bowen. Ricky, what is your favorite OG Xbox game? Oh. 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 I've never played that before. Oh my gosh, there's so many on that one. It might not be my favorite. It's there's so many that could be my favorite. But I remember enjoying the suffering so much on yeah, Xbox. You like the suffering. I honestly, I don't know what it is about the suffering. It's like, it's creepy but awesome. Like Ricky. Like you. I'm creepy. Oh, nice. Makes sense. It's come from Retro Reactor. Oh, I know Retro Reactor. Reactor. What is a system you would love the most to collect for, but you never own it? It or it is on Noble Tenable. What? What the hell? Or is it that? is un un unattainable. Oh, that oh, thing. Whatever. For me, Turbo Graphics. I never owned it. Uh, and my my friends had one and stuff like that. I've always wanted to collect for it, but I've never gotten good at collecting for it. PC Engine. Yeah, PC Engine. Because I don't have PC Engine. But I thought that was my kids, but it's my wife watching a TV show. I think it? someone just gave birth and grazed out of me. This comes from Dario Hall. Dario Hall. The weirdest question I ask people, what is your favorite soup? Chicken top ramen. Oh. Maruchan with lime oh. and tapatio. On a rainy day, <laughs> uh, 
potato cheddar, but on the normal occasion, yeah, any freaking, the little cup of noodles just oh, with some so tapatio and lime on it. <laughs> Clank shoulder. Clan chowder. Clan chowder. He loves nah. greens. There, there's, a, there's one in Olive Garden. It's like a chicken something. Yeah. It's like a white cream soup. I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, that's so simple. I know you do. <laughs> You're gonna cut that, right? It is what, what it is. is. This comes from Retro Redneck. How did you and Ricky meet? Oh. You too. That's a good one. Go ahead, Ricky. All right, so uh, I guess the first person I met was Aaron's brother Adam yep. in junior high, and that's when he introduced me to Riff, aka Aaron. At the time, Aaron. At the time, Aaron. We kind of just hit it off after that. Yeah, I remember you were playing a lot of Dreamcast, and you were playing a lot of Final Fantasy. And it's funny because we, we became friends because we saw the video game, so we wanted to hang out, but surfing is what actually made us like hang out, hang out. Yeah. And video games were just the plus. We would go surf every single day. Every day. Every single day after school, we'd go surf at Newport Pier. <laughs> his mom would pick us up, take us back to, to his house. We'd have some cup of noodle soup and play video games. NFL 2K1 was huge for us, which is weird, a sports game. Can I say oh, something? Yeah. Yes. That's a, another thing that is super awesome to be friends with you guys. It's like, I never have friends like these two, like we can sit down for hours mm. and hours and talk only video games. Yep. Because back in the days when I, when I grow up, if you say you're a gamer, they're gonna bully you. Yeah, you were a dork. They're gonna say, oh, you're a dork, you're a nerd. So I think that's why yeah. this friendship, this brotherhood, or whatever it is. Because if you really think about it from an outside stance, I was telling my wife that, because my wife's not a gamer by any means yeah. at all. And from an outside world, it's just like when we look outside, uh, we look at clubs of like people who are, are knitting and they're like, they love to knit or they're like into reptile expos and that's what they do. But from the outside to us, it's like, that's a little odd, that's different. But really we're the same thing, just we're adults who do something that's a little Quirky, we collect action figures yeah. and I, I'm, I not saying, I, I'm not I saying I'm not saying I'm not saying my other friends are you know Noah has yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It's because he's different. Yeah, like we. It's funny because I'll be with other friends who aren't gamers sometimes, yeah. and I'll drop little jokes that are like gaming related, and they just oh, don't. Yeah. They don't get it, and I'm just like, all right, I feel super stupid. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and but something about uh, this, what we do as friends, it's like we, Ricky and I, would spend. After we became friends, we slowly started to, after we got into like more of the tail end of high school, instead of surfing every day after work, we'd have Smash Bros tournaments. And most people were going out and you know doing their own thing, which is cool, but like Gabo said, it wasn't, we weren't the cool ones for doing that. Even though we were, we were like, we weren't dorks, or whatever you want to call it, considered dorks. Well, but it was a different still a time. dork. We were dorks. We, uh, we every, were. Everyone else was going out at night, and we'd be like, guys, who wants to come over and play some Smash? True, everyone it was, was going to, everyone, everyone was realized that. Like, I, uh, I got a question for you guys. Like, this is come from me. What do you feel when somebody tell you like, oh, when, when you say something about video games, say, so, uh, someday are you gonna grow up? Because they are, they are saying that. saying that to me a lot of time. And I always say, well, never. Yeah, never. So, uh, it's I, my know, passion. But, but the truth is, I never get like snappy on those people because a lot of people think when they think of gamers, or at least back in the day, because retro isn't as cool as like, you know, we're not out there doing the trendy, what's trendy, we're the opposite. We're like kind of the, in reality, if you think about what the NES Pursuit is in retro gaming, the way we do it is kind of like the anti-trend. We could easily talk about the things that we know are trending, even when retro is trending, like the NES Classic and our thoughts, we don't hit on that. We just stick with like, we like to collect. Oh, so that means you didn't like the NES? I love it. That I give you? The NES Classic is right there and I play it all the time, See, okay? I should give it to you. No, 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 I use it a lot. It's I actually use it a lot. Thank you. But I, you know, and oh, that's one of the last things I wanted to touch on is the reason I'm so proud of this show. <laughs> I'm proud of this show because it does so well for what it is. It's not 
It's not us reaching for cheap views or easy views. I could easily, I, I make ton of videos. I could easily make videos that are clear, blatant, you know, reasons to try to get views off people. But really, there's so much heart that's gone into the show from how much the people behind it actually care. And I know there is financials involved as well, but we've always like agreed on collectively, like let's do what we love over what we think will get clicks on the internet. You know, oh, let's talk about, you know, you won't believe what the Switch did and the NES Classic. Wow, five reasons why this glitch is, you know, we don't, it's not us. We'll put some arrows in the thumbnails and be silly, but what our content is is basically what, what we like. Why Gabo is the best giver and hogger? Next question, one more question. <laughs> really? You're not going to answer that? Because we know you're the giver, all right? You don't have to. No. <laughs> You just wanted to make questions about us. It was a good question, Gabo, for the last one, all right? It's the last question. Okay. Let's wrap it up. This comes from Annihilate uh, 86 or whatever. Annihilator? X Annihilate 86X. Okay. What's your craziest gaming moment together? Thanks, guys. Soft King Squad. Our craziest gaming moment together? Mm. I don't know if that means on the show or not. Or like playing something. Um, I'll go with the show. I'll just say the show. For me, it was when I got a PC Core Engine uh, graphics to basically the Japanese Turbo Graphics for two bucks on film. That was kind of like my biggest thing that happened to me uh, in the gaming world. As far as playing video games, I'd say, uh, not to cut again, but as far as playing video games, it was on that Faceless Games episode. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I forgot about Tell that. Tell what happened. Was that the, was that the Tony Hawk? Yeah, that was amazing. It literally glitched out on us as we were playing faceless games. <laughs> like Tony Hawk. It was a crazy Ollie that just wouldn't stop, right? I think, what I, was I, think I was playing as Alyssa Steamer and we played a Tony Hawk game on Game Boy and I did one Ollie and I jumped and all of a sudden the character just flew through the buildings and just flying through the sky. <laughs> it was a glitch. And we were just like, oh my gosh. The best part was on film. That never happens to us like outside. I was yeah. thinking you was going to say that day in the Portland. Uh -huh. Then I beat like 30 people in a row. Alright, Gabo's been wanting to talk about this for a while. Yes? You, please, can you say that? That's not how that's, we need to end the show. You can that's say on that Gabo's right now. That's on you. No, no, I want We were in Portland and uh, we were telling people how good Gabo is at Street Fighter. Basically, we got a crowd of 40 dedicated Street Fighter players to play Gabo on the arcade and he beat all 40 of those people, including Gamester and a bunch of other people. So, uh, alright, let's, let's just say that's it. goodbye. Oh, wait, I didn't say my moment. Say it! It was when I beat Gabo Perfect on Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> when? Yeah, a big thank you is due to uh, you guys for keeping this show going a hundred episodes strong. Okay. Holy moly. Your thank you? That is. Okay, what about yours? Thank you guys. You guys are the best. I honestly can't believe it's our you life. guys are still watching. <laughs> I know. When you see the people that are like, dude, I've been here since episode one. That's I, dude, crazy. Dude, like Chris crazy. Roberts. Like Chris Roberts is one of them. And Jose Robles Jose, and those guys. Side pick and all those guys. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome and I'm looking forward to meet you guys in the expos or whatever. And, but it's honestly like the coolest thing to know that someone knows you who you are. Oh Ricky! Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and we wanna we make it a very big point for us. We've always said this. Even when Gabo came on the show, new on the show, I literally had a private talk with him. I'm like, now you're a bar of the squats, and with that. You have to, I have to, I wouldn't have let Gabo on the show if I didn't feel like he would treat um, the fans, I hate that word, with the proper respect. The friends. Yeah. The friends. Thank you guys. You guys that's are it. awesome. Thank you. See you around. On to 200 episodes. Wow. That'd be, well, is it going to happen? It might happen. Probably. It's going to happen. happen. It's, it's going to happen. Gonna happen. It'll be the Gabo show by then. Nah. So literally. Oh, that pickup show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, my butt cheeks.